We begin tonight with an A News investigation into your private health records and how it takes just one wrong number to put them in the wrong hands. The Vancouver Island Health Authority has been sending medical records to a roofing contractor in Langford. His fax number is just one digit away from a Victoria Medical Clinic and VIHA has been misdialing. And it's not an isolated incident. The roofer says he's been getting these health records for 10 years now. He says he has notified VIHA several times over the years, but the faxes just keep on coming. A News reporter Stephen Andrews on the story tonight and has reaction from an angry patient. Well, I'd like for it to stop. Dan Perrier is a Langford roofer. He has no medical degree, but he says the Vancouver Island Health Authority has been faxing him medical reports on patients living in Greater Victoria for years. Well, people needing CAT scans, um, prescriptions, pretty much anything medical. I would be quite upset if my information, you know, was sitting in someone other than my doctor's office. The reports were destined for a medical clinic now housed in the Uptown Shopping Centre. The clinic has a fax number one digit away from Perrier's machine. Perrier says he contacted the clinic and VIHA, but the faxes keep coming. Has the Vancouver Island Health Authority ever contacted you? Um, not, no, not to my knowledge. And these are just some of the documents that Dan Perrier says the Vancouver Island Health Authority has been sending him over the past 10 years. At least one fax per week containing everything from names, personal health numbers, date of births, addresses, and telephone numbers. So, uh, Laura, this is what we found. This is the, a document that came from the Vancouver Island Health Authority. We delivered one patient her medical records faxed to the Langford roofer. She is shocked to learn someone other than her doctor has seen the report. I'm not happy about it. I'm upset. I mean, I wouldn't want this to happen to anyone else nor myself. Again, I mean, it's nobody's business but my own and my doctor's. The first news of this was today when you phoned me. I haven't heard from my clinic, nor have I heard from the health authority. Viha is apologizing for the privacy breach and claims it didn't know about the problem until the middle of February. We uh, will investigate everyone and be contacting patients who, uh, whose information did get out inadvertently and we'll make sure there was no harm. Like I said earlier, we need to contain it and make sure it doesn't happen again. But it has taken the health authority nearly two weeks to notify BC's privacy commissioner of the breach after A News began asking questions today. So at this point, we have, we have no information, we have no evidence before us, we have had no direct discussions with the health authority, uh, and nor can we comment upon an active investigation. But the privacy commissioner says it will work with the health authority to find out exactly what happened. Dan Perrier says he already knows what happened. He just wants it to stop. Stephen Andrew joins us now with more. Stephen, uh, 10 years seems like a long time to be getting the wrong uh, medical faxes. Why didn't Dan Perrier go come to the media earlier? Well, Hudson, he says he wanted to deal with this very quietly, but recently he says he was in hospital and the issue really hit home. Now, from the faxes that he showed us, he's been telling the health authority for several weeks that he was going to take this issue public, and when he didn't hear back from Bihar, he called us. Now, also, there seems to be some confusion over this case. The Privacy Commissioner's Office told us today that Viha reported only one privacy breach from the documents we obtained from Dan Perrier today. There have been at least six, and those, Hudson, are just the cases that we know about. All right, well, we'll stay in the story. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome.